today about terminating and non-terminating decimals. Okay? Not terminate. What's terminate mean? Destroy. To stop. To end. Okay? So to terminate my life would be to end it. To terminate your life would be to end it. Okay? To terminate anything. That's why they call that movie The Terminator. Because he stops stuff. He destroys stuff. He ruins stuff. See what I'm saying? Where? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, today we're going to talk about terminating and non-terminating decimals. A terminating decimal is a decimal that stops. Okay. A non-terminating decimal is a decimal that goes on forever. Okay. Also known as a repeating decimal. Have y'all ever heard that? Yes. Okay. So terminating means it stops. Stop. Non-terminating means it goes on. Yeah, just like the Energizer Bunny. Okay. Now, all terminating and non-terminating decimals are what kind of numbers? Rational, because they're decimals, right? Okay. Now, today, remember, we're talking about terminating and non-terminating decimals. Now, most of what we're going to do today is take a terminating decimal and make it a fraction. Make a non-terminating decimal a fraction. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Now, like I said, our goal is to make a fraction from the following decimals. Okay. Now you can read the rules. If the decimal is repeating, which means it's non-terminating, then place the decimal over 99. If the decimal is non-repeating or terminating, place it over 100. Okay? So if it's like this, is that a non-terminating or a terminating? Non-terminating. Non so you make it a percent, you move the decimal 2 to the right, and you put it over 99. And then you would reduce. 33 over 99 reduces to one third. Right, JP? Better keep those eyes open. Now, over here, we have a non-repeating decimal. A non-repeating decimal would be one such as 0.4. See how it does not repeat? All you do is make it a percent, 40 percent, and put it over what? 100. 100, and then reduce. You got 4 over 10, which is 2 over... Alright, so the number 0.333, number 0.33 with a line over, it's the same thing as 0.3333 forever, right? Yeah. What if it was 0.34 and both the 3 and the 4 had a line over it? Yeah. So it's 0.34 and both have a line. Then they both repeat. Yeah. The way they both repeat is 0. 0.34 over and over. 3, 4, 3, 4. Forever. Do you understand? Okay. So, this says express 0. 0.757575 using bar notation. That's what I just did. Okay. So to use bar notation, take all the stuff that's repeating off, except for the first two. So I end up with what? 0. 0.75. 0. 0.75. And then what do I put on top? A bar. Over bar. both. Because they both repeat. Now, if it was just 0. 0.7777, I could take all this off and just have 0. 0.7 repeating. You see the difference between this and that. Now, what notation are we using? Bar. Bar notation. Bar notation. Okay, express 0. 0.4111 using bar notation. Okay, now we need the 4 and the 1, don't we? Yes. But what's repeating? These ones, aren't they? Yes. So it's just 0. 0.41 with a bar over just the 1. 
Because only the one's repeating. You put a bar over just the one because only the one is repeating. Comprende? Comprende. Good. Now it says express each decimal using bar notation. All right, this is 6.015015015. What's the sum? 6.015015015. What's the song? Oh, wheels on the bus go. Oh, one five. Oh, one five. Oh, one five. That's what it was. Good. Okay. Remix. So now what? Hey, what repeats? The oh one five and the oh one five. Okay. So the answer just six point oh one five. Repeat. Repeating. Just the oh one five repeats. Okay. Now it says write the first ten decimal places. So they show you with a bar, you got to write it 10 places. So this is just point one, three, one, three, one, three. That's six places, eight places, 10 places. 1.562 is 1.562, 562, 562, 562. You went 10 places. Well, we went 12, really. Now here you got 3.498. Do you understand what's repeating? Yeah. They want you to recognize that whatever has the bar over it repeats. Oh, you repeat the board. Yeah. Yeah. 